Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty, back with another episode of Porta Patty, segment of the GTM show. We like to check out frozen and refrigerated sandwiches, burritos, like type stuff that has some shelf life that you don't have to eat right away from like a fast food restaurant. In the past, we've done a lot of stuff from uh, Fast Bites, which you can find in a lot of dollar stores and um, like low price point type of stores. And mostly it's chicken sandwiches, burger, stuff like that. And this time around, we're checking out some breakfast food. Bam, there we have it. It's the uh, sausage and cheese biscuit. No egg on this one. Just uh, our meat patty, sliced cheese, and what looks like a buttermilk biscuit, hopefully. And yeah, fast bites. So, for those of you that haven't watched the GTM show for a long time, on the regular show, we did a lot of stuff from a company called Pierre's Drive Through or Advanced Pierre's. And everything that we've done by them. We've also found going through the porta patty episodes, Fast Bites is Pierre's because we were finding a lot of products that were, you know, the exact same product, different package. Um, you see down there that this was made by Pierre's, even though it's got the Fast Bite branding on it. All right, let's crack this open and see what we got inside. All right, so bam, there's a closer look. As you peek in there, you can see it's a pretty thick slice of cheese. Or maybe it's one piece of cheese that's been folded over so it looks extra thick. And the sausage doesn't look too thick on that side, but on this side you can see how thick it really is. So, it's pretty close to, you know, the picture. Okay, what are our instructions? Heating instructions. Remove frozen biscuit sandwich from carton. Open one end of the wrapper and microwave on high for 90 seconds. And then allow the sandwich to rest for one minute because it gets really tired in there. And then, uh, yeah, it lets us know that microwaves vary, adjust accordingly. Ours is pretty on point. It's usually their instructions that are janky. Now, as we've seen with these Pierre and Fast Bite items, uh, most of the time these instructions are completely just out the window. So we're going to actually add a little bit of time to this to make sure that we get a thorough cook going on. And uh, if we get to open up one end of the wrapper, let's get a closer look at this sandwich. Flip it out real quick. We can put it back in there for our new guy. So boom, there's a closer look of it outside of the package. There's our buttermilk biscuit. You can see, you know, that is just one big thick slice of cheese on there. It's not two pieces. And yeah, it's a pretty thick sausage patty. It does, you know, cover the entire circumference of the biscuit itself. So we're starting off pretty good with these guys right now. Nothing else, nothing else. All right, so we pop this back into its sleeve. I'm gonna go microwave it up. We'll come on back and we'll see what we got for a finished product, all right? Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. Got the finished product out of the microwave. And before we even begin all that, the cooking instructions. The cooking instructions had us starting off at 90 seconds. We knew because of experience in the past with their products that that wasn't going to work. So we added initially 15 seconds to the timer. After that was done, we pulled it out. Didn't even have to do the feel check on this. Just visually, you could see that the cheese that was hanging out of the sandwich wasn't melted. You know, that's a huge indicator that the center of the sandwich never got heated since in the microwave it heats from the center out. So if your outside bits aren't melted at all, guaranteed the inside cold as ice. But here's what you get after an additional 30 seconds on top of that. And finally, we get a little bit of cheese meltage coming out the sides there. Let's crack this out of the wrapper and get a closer look. All right, so bam, there it is, outside of the wrapper. Yeah, we got melty cheese. Yeah, let me peel it back here so you can kind of see. Very melty cheese. So that did its thing. There's our sausage patty. Yeah, I'd say it doesn't look as fat as it did before. It has a little bit of shrinkage because of being cooked in there, grease and whatnot burning off. You can see it no longer. We can tilt this like this. It's a lot smaller than the biscuit now. Before, remember, it filled up all the way to the edges. So definitely some shrinkage on their sausage patty. The biscuit. Softer, you know, because it was in the microwave and steamed instead of in the oven where it was, you know, baked. So it doesn't have like a crispiness to it. Not very flaky. 
you know, it holds together pretty well in like a, a like a moist mass. Now it smells pretty good. I'll give it that. Let's check out the uh, what is this? The sausage and cheese biscuit from Fast Bites. Here we go. Is that? All right, my very first bite. The sausage, like a big piece of uh, fatty gristle in the sausage. Right now, I don't really taste the sausage. I taste this biscuit more than anything. It does have like a, a slightly buttery flavor to it, but mostly it's just dry biscuit. All right, let me hit this one more time. I got a big glop of the cheese there that time in that bite. Real nice. It's American cheese. They say it's thick, and when it melted down, it got real goopy, and that's real nice. There's plenty of that on there. Totally covers the sandwich. The sausage. I got more of the sausage flavor on that, but it's not like a spicy sausage. It's got the sausage flavor, but it's very mild. You know, it doesn't have that zing, that bite, that kick that you would normally get with like if you were going out to a restaurant, even McDonald's sausage has a bit of a spice to it. You know, it's got that little, that, that kick. Overall, it's not a bad tasting product. It's just the, the cooking instructions are f***ed up. The sausage is low quality. But then we got to stop and we got to look at the fact that this cost a dollar. No tax even. Just a straight up dollar. And it's not bad for what you get for a buck. You know, you can't really expect a whole lot out of, you know, a breakfast sandwich for a buck. You know, if you got this from McDonald's, it would be a lot smaller, and it wouldn't have the cheese on there. It would just be the buttermilk biscuit with a piece of sausage on it. So taking all of that into consideration, I would probably drop this somewhere around like a high three, low four kind of category. And because for one dollar, I could see myself getting this again. Just have a few of them on deck, standby in the freezer, just in case. One morning, you know, don't really want to cook a big breakfast, not in the mood for cereal. Boom. Problem solved. I'm going to give this a low four. Alright, so there you have it. It's the uh, sausage and cheese biscuit from Fast Bites or Pierre's Drive Thru or Advanced Pierre's, whatever they're marketing it as in your area. If you had this already, let us know what you think. Leave us a message down in the comment section. You can also follow me on Twitter at the real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here. Go have a rotten day. <laughs>